Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm going to show you what is and how to use the tool Information Architecture. This video is also available in Spanish. While this is an organization tool, it got the following characteristics. It is the discipline in charge of study, analyze, organ, organize, and disposition of structure of the information in a content space, and the selection and presentation of data in interactive and non-interactive information system. Any visual development must have a concept in a transversal way. It will allow you to develop a user-centered design and make it more understandable. Agile methodologies promote this concept so that the experience of the user is enjoyable and they can understand and appropriate the development they are creating. Okay, so when we talk about information architecture, we are basically organizing the layout of the whole structure. So the first thing that you need to design is what is going to be your topic. Then to whom it goes manage, then analog digital, then of course user-centered design. These four steps are extremely important for the whole development. After that, you start defining the characteristics. The first one is the objective. What is the objective of this development? And am I making a presentation? Am I making a poster? Whatever I'm doing. I decide what, what is it going to be. Then I def uh, uh, decide the format and of course the channel. Is it going to be analog? Is it going to be digital? Uh, how is it going to work? Then I start organizing the different components, pictures, pictograms, text, and of course there are different ways where I can use it. For example, a um, golden ratio, it's something really helpful for all the distribution. Then I start making the planning, it means the layout structure. I need to be very clear where I'm going to put everything, and of course keeping in mind all the design characteristics. I have to keep in mind the benefits of the person who are watching my development. It means the understanding. I always need to know who is the person that are going to be watching my development. Of course, it has to be user-centered design. Then, what is the experience that I want to, to they feel about it? They ha it has to be easy to understand and interact if it's something that is digital. Oh, something that is very important is even though I might have present or show in some way, I could be very, 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 very interesting is that I need to know that I can continue improve all of that. Innovation, it's, it's very important because maybe something that is analog, I can make it better in the future. And finally, I combine all of these components and I make my development. As a conclusion, we can say that this concept should be used for develop of medium and high complexity uh, graphic projects. The understanding and the and, and the whole process of development it has to be user centered design and the process is ongoing, improves and can be used with different approaches, commercial, communication, and many more. Thank you so much. I hope this video was a big help in your education. Please subscribe to our channel, Design Thinking 24-7. Follow us on social media. Remember that every Monday we have a new video in Spanish and every Thursday we have a new video in English. Thank you to all of you. We are the number one Agile channel and Design Thinking channel in the whole platform.